Hello guys and we're continuing continuing on the our conquest, so let's go. It is settled. Please excuse us and enjoy your conversation at your leisure. Thank you for arranging everything for us, Malus. Excuse me, miss. Do you need anything from us? Hey, hey, Navi is quiet. Let's not bother her sorry, for now. Sorry. But I only but came I only to visit came to after, visit all, this after all this time. <sighs> after what after happened, what happened uh, I didn't know I didn't how know I was supposed to face the two of you. Ah, uh, uh, if it's about, yeah, that, if it's about that, that, there's no need there's to, no apologize. Need to apologize. apologize. After my, after husband, my husband died, Spina Di Rasula sent us a lot of mula and support. I understand your guilt and apology to be genuine. But aren't all, aren't of, those all of those things nothing, things compared, nothing to compared to the loss of Jacques? Of Jacques? <sighs> I, can I can understand the kind, the of, pain kind of pain that comes, that comes with losing a father, losing so, a father needlessly. so needlessly. Yes. You don't understand at all. all. I didn't know I didn't how to know face how you. To face you. Because I didn't know what I could possibly bring as a consolation gift. I know. Only the full truth could bring closure to you. And to all of us. I'm sorry. I appreciate the sentiment. But you don't have to carry all that guilt. On the matter regarding my husband, my daughter and I have more or less found our answer already. Would you mind sharing it with me? I really, I really can't, believe can't believe that my father, that my father could, could ever bring, bring himself, himself to shoot Jock. I, I always knew that my husband's that my money husband's was money earning was through others' through suffering. Others suffering. He, told he told me countless times, times that if he could turn he back could the, turn the clock, clock, he would he never go into the synth business, business again. again. He had many, he had regrets, many regrets and felt that and he took the idea of providing for his family too literally. For the longest time, he thought more was everything. So when Mr. Cowles came in with a proposal, he accepted it almost immediately. He tried to be as careful as he could, but even so, he was still found out by the higher-ups. They found out about his betrayal? Papa didn't say that exactly, but Papa did tell me that I should never be ungrateful. Before he left that day, he told me that he had no choice. It was only it was later only that I realized it was his final farewell to the two of us. So does that mean... I don't know that, don't for, know sure, that for sure, but you but could, you say, could that's say that's the conclusion, the conclusion I, eventually I eventually came to. Came to. Which, is Which is why I'm why the I'm one who should feel guilty. guilty. Callus had, had always taken great care, care of us, both when he was still alive and after he passed away. Even, Even if he if fired he the shot that killed my husband, my husband, it was likely, it was likely in self-defense. It, it is impossible for me to hate him hate for what he had done. But Mama, Mama why is why Papa is still the bad the guy, guy if he did, if the, he right did the right thing? Papa always, always wanted, wanted to be a good, be a good man. man, so why did he so have to do a bad, bad thing in the end? end? Well, things aren't always as they seem. Lele is a boss, mommy go bad day, oh, ni nu ni nu nu. Papa was a really good man. La, wu shu shi da, boy, kui swai mbo, mi shu wa bi a bi. Then he must have had his reasons. Regardless, Regardless of whether he of left, whether you, a he left parasol, you a parasol or a sword, or a sword. he must have done, he must so have done so to give you a, better, give you a better life. life. Oh. oh, thank you, Adele, Adele. For, everything for everything you've told, you've told me. me. I, will I will definitely, definitely find, find, the, find truth. the truth. The current state, the current of, things state of things is not something, is not something I'm willing to just sit back and accept. Thank you. I'm very grateful to hear this from you. Even though your personality is quite different from your father's, your determination, Your determination when you speak, you speak is, is really similar. Really similar. You, really you think really so? think so? That's, That's the first the time first anyone, time said, anyone that said that to me. It's the money from Jack's family. I'll leave my I'll husband's leave my cake. cake. Thank you, Miss Bina. And Miss Bina's, 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 Bina's friend. Are you okay, Are you okay, okay? Bina? I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's investigate Let's the three investigate suspects, the suspects next. next. Laurent should, Laurent be, should nearby. be nearby. And we should be, and able, we to should be able to find Thierry, Thierry and Uncle Marcel, Marcel, Marcel in the city. city. I'll get myself, I'll get myself, together, myself on together on the way. On the way.
Greetings, boss. How may I be of assistance today? I'm sure you've heard about what happened at the Opera House. Someone got turned into water right in front of us. Yeah, I've heard. With something that dramatic, I'm sure journalists will milk it for all it's worth. And it'll be on the top for the next several weeks. It also reminded me, on the day that the incident happened with my father, it was raining outside, and we found some clothes left at the scene. After my partner here put the dots together for me, I feel like we should try to reopen this case. Can you do me a favor and try to recall what happened that night? Let me think. Mr. Callis was feeling pretty upbeat that day. So he so was he drinking was and drinking bantering and away with us, away us at the table. After that, After that he told us he that, told he, wanted that he wanted to go get, to get some, some fresh air. Fresh so we let him so go, let without go without thinking much of it. Much of it. Who knew that we would hear two gunshots ring out right after? My first reaction was that Mr. Callis's life was in danger. So I grabbed my holster and made a mad dash toward the scene. But when I got there, it was already too late. Mr. Callis was standing over a dead body with a gun in his hands. All we could do was look back and forth at each other. I think. Not knowing what to say. I think Callis is guilty, anyways. Indeed. The guards the said that the first, that the first shot didn't hit anyone, didn't while the no, second killed shot. shot. But I've never I've really never bought really that explanation. explanation. Reason being, Reason being Mr. Callis had left, had left his gun, his on, the gun table. on the table. I even made I sure even to confirm sure that, that before running, before running, to, the running to the scene. But according, but to, according the guards, to the guards, that doesn't mean he couldn't have had other guns on his person. About the clothes left at the scene that you mentioned, do you, Do you think there was a third, there was a third person, person there who was turned who was into water? Turned into water? It's very possible. At least from our perspective, my father had no reason to kill. So he would also have no reason to bring an extra gun with him. The gun he was holding probably belonged to Jacques, or a third person on the scene. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So... You're saying, Mr. Callis ended up with the gun because he seized it from one of the other guys? But hold on. If that's what had happened, then why didn't he share the truth with any of us? He didn't even want to face the Oratrix machine, and chose instead to prove his honor in a duel. Did he lose all faith in the courts after seeing someone dissolve right in front of his eyes? About that, Malus told me a thing or two. So, so I think I can understand why he committed to the duel. I'll tell you everything once the whole truth has been revealed. I understand. Then I'll leave Mr. Callis's honor in your hands, boss. And if I may just say one more thing, the whole Callis being faithful at the Fed has been a thorn in my side since the day it was invented. Many people have laughed at me for still calling him Mr. Callis. Even after so many years have passed. But it was Mr. Callis's trust that allowed me to rise through the ranks of Spina di Rosula and live the life I lead today. No matter what others might say, he'll always be the man I respect the most. And he'll always be my boss. Don't worry. I will definitely find the truth. You and all our other comrades at the Spina deserve to know the truth as well. I've heard I've that you heard made quite you the made name quite for yourself at the opera house. Oh, so you've caught so use of that already. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, I'm also, I'm also a member of the member guards, of the guards you, know. you know. The way you make way it you sound, make people it would think I was sent off to Poisson because, because, because I had done something wrong. wrong. Are you sure there isn't a little bit of truth in that? Under normal Under circumstances, normal shouldn't you have been shouldn't called back called to the back city to the already? City already? <laughs> okay. I mean, where I work where I is work really is up to me. Let's just say I enjoy the ambiance of Poisson. 
Callus did a fantastic job running the town. Building Spina di Rosula from the ground up and clearing many obstructions in my way. It would be next to impossible for me to find a similarly easy but high-paying job in the city. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Are these two friends of yours? You, uh, here for some formal business? Ah, uh, yes. These two are my partners. What happened at the Opera House made us realize that Lenny's case and my father's may be related. We're trying to reinvestigate the details of my father's old case. Ah, I get it. You think there might be more to the case now that we know people can be dissolved into water, right? I was also flabbergasted when I first heard of it. If you want to go through the original files from your father's case, I can help you look for them. That'd be much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I have another question. Do you have the authority to dispatch Gardamax? Of course. of course. Without them, without I, them couldn't I couldn't possibly, possibly handle Poisson, Poisson on my own. On my own. Why, do Why do you ask? We definitely, we definitely can't, can't use them to use forcefully them to get more evidence, evidence from your father's, your father's case. case. Well, well, you see, you see just, recently, just recently, we were attacked, we were attacked by a horde, by a horde, of, horde of unnumbered Gardamax in the city. In the city. Yeah. So, <laughs> if you, if you hypothetically I'm not want to do something against, do something against me, me, all you want to do is get rid of the many serial numbers, serial numbers and, and send them, send after, them me. after me. <laughs> then you <laughs> think too highly of my abilities. Dispatching Mecca is very different from controlling them. If I had to make an analogy, when you order a you dish, order a the dish, chef, chef will make it for you. Make it for you. you can ask you can the ask chef, the to, chef cook, to cook, but not to not massage, to massage your, shoulders your shoulders or carry your carry baggage. baggage. If you try if to you make try unreasonable... To make unreasonable. <laughs> Man, the chef will just yeah, think you're out of your mind, your mind and ignore you completely. You completely. The same goes for me and my Gardamax. Removing a serial number is also not as easy as you might think. There are a lot of complex steps to it, and it's almost impossible to keep it a secret. So I can promise you, those mecha are definitely private units. They're certainly not cheap, so whoever their owner is must be super rich, powerful, or both. Now that you mention it, though, being in the Being synth, the synth business, business would definitely, would definitely be profitable, profitable enough to afford, enough to afford this. this. Makes sense. Oh, oh. <laughs> then you're officially, then you're officially in, the in the clear, Thierry. Thierry. <laughs> well, thank you for the vote of confidence, Nadia. Jokes aside, Jokes aside I'd, like I'd like to wish you all the best you all with your investigation. investigation. I'll be staying I'll in the city for a little while, so just come find me if you need any support from the guards. Could you please Could you please let him know? You can just say Navia's looking, 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 looking for him. Sure. sure. I will let him know right away. Ah, Navia. Hello. Hello. Sorry to Sorry. keep you waiting. I'm not as young as I used to be. So my legs so are my legs giving are out of it. Oh, it's oh, all right, it's Uncle, all right Marcel. Uncle Marcel. There's no need There's to no stress. Need to stress. I just wanted I just to talk wanted to you to briefly, briefly about what about happened, what in, the happened in the Opera House. I'm sure you, I'm saw, sure everything you saw everything too, right? Too, right? Yes, yes, yes. I've never I've seen never anything seen so, strange. so strange. Oh, oh, you were at the, you opera, were at the opera House, house too? too? Whoa! That's right. I went there with Nadia to see the magic show. Who knew it would turn into a whole new I knew that she was somewhere at there. Your marvelous sleuthing look. Quite impressive. 
To beat the Hydro Archon at her own game on her own turf, I can already imagine everyone in Fontaine discussing your exploits over a few glasses of wine. You sound like Diana Paimon. <laughs> Apologies. It's just how Fontaine is as a nation. Everyone loves drama and theatrics. Uncle Marcel, Uncle Marcel, you've also, you've noticed, also that noticed that other thing, thing right? right? The fact that, the humans, fact that humans can dissolve, can dissolve in, water? in water? Yes. yes. I, was I was reminded of your father's, father's case, case right away. Right away. Is that, is that what you're what investigating, you are investigating now? Exactly. exactly. I, still I still don't have, have much solid have proof, proof, but I can sense, I can sense that, the that the other side, side has already has begun, to, begun act. to act. Oh, and what, what makes you say that? We were attacked I have a feeling that it was the Fatui. And there was also an attempt to get me to drink water from the primordial sea. If not for the vigilance of my partner, I probably wouldn't even be here talking to you right now. Oh, you're giving us too much credit. Alas, Alas, it seems things are heating, things up, are heating again. up again. The peace that Callus sought so dearly will soon become a soon thing of the past. But rest assured, Navi, Poisson, Poisson will always, will always remain, remain safe haven for you. you. If you're scared, if you're scared you can always return, you can always there. return there. If anyone, if anyone dares, dares to lay their to hands on you there, the Confrérie of Cabriere will use its funds to the last mora to bring them to justice. Thank you, Uncle Marcel. But I but don't I intend, intend to go into, to go hiding. into hiding. I'm going to, I'm going to strike, strike while the while iron's, hot. iron's hot. Do you have any you new have thoughts any on my father's case? Father's case? <sighs> ah, about that. Sorry, my age is catching up with me. So it'll take me a while to recall my memory. The Confrérie was responsible for that banquet. So I was out and about the whole time, making sure things were running smoothly. I didn't even have the time to drink with the guests. Then I heard the sound of a gunshot, and the rest was history. Oh, it's okay. No need to push yourself. We'll ask around some more. Sounds good. Just let me know if you ever need more. All my wealth All my comes wealth from Callus's patronage, patronage and support. And support. I'll, spend I'll spend however much it takes to clear his name. Now let's go over the clues. Suspects, purely based, purely based on their conversations, on their conversations with, me. with me. None of them None sounded of particularly, particularly suspicious. suspicious. Yeah, no, as a suspect. Mm -hmm. I suppose that's I suppose to be that's expected, to be though. though. If a single, if a single conversation's, conversation's all that's needed, needed to, find to find them out, then my father, then my father wouldn't have needed to investigate the case for so many years. Many years. Anyway, anyway, even though we didn't make a breakthrough, let's still compile what we were able to find. Where should we go? Jacques Motive. That makes sense. According to Jacques' family members, he already told them that he had been discovered, been discovered and, that he, and no that he had no choice before he left home that day. If I had to guess, he probably, he probably received an order from the Sith boss, boss to kill my father. Had he refused, had he, refused he, and he and his family's lives, lives would have been forfeit. Been forfeit. So, so, Jacques fired, fired the first shot? The first shot? If, if I was Jacques, I wouldn't have fired his oh. shot. Oh. Oh. And why is that? Could you, he guarantee his safety after killing Callus? Oh, that's a oh, good point. Jack probably Jack already knew that he was just being used as a tool for murder. And once he completed his mission, mission, he'd be of no more, more use, use to his boss. Huh. In, In your eyes? So, what would make what more would sense make from his perspective would be to turn be to his turn back his on the order and seek protection from my father. Seems the third person was the one who derailed everything. Sense. But without but evidence, without evidence that's, still that's still just a theory. Just a theory. Beside Jock, the attack the from the Gardamax has, the has been bothering, has been bothering me quite a bit as well. Bit as well. <laughs> it's obvious that our that enemy our has enemy become more antsy, more antsy after the secret of the primordial seawater was, was revealed. Do you think he knew? What happened in the primordial sea? 
Given everything that's happened since, it's quite possible. But who among the three suspects would have the ability to control privately owned Gardamax? Marcel was a bit... Hmm. My father did My father really did trust really him. Trust him. And they worked and together they work on a together large, on number, large of number of projects. Maybe that's Maybe how he that's got to Jacques. And, and with funds fun from the Conferie, he could also he could afford also a large, large number of garments. Still really hard, really hard for me to for imagine, me to though. imagine though. though. After all, after Uncle Marcel, Marcel has been around since I was just a child. Also, wouldn't this mean he has been spending a whole lot of moral and energy to fight his own synth business? The real way is someone else. Fieri? Huh. huh. It is possible, it is possible that, he's that he's figured out a way, figured to, convert out a way to convert the Gardamax for personal, personal use. use. But, but I didn't feel didn't like he was feel lying like he was when lying he was talking to us about the Mecca. About the Mecca. I, also I also don't, don't think he'd think be able to keep that kind of tampering under wraps. Yeah. There only leaves one person. Florence. Prove it with a simple check, check of the guard's inventory. If the men were, were taken from the guards, it should be pretty easy to find out where they're coming. Maybe it was someone else. Florence. It is true it is that he true was closest, he was closest to, my to my father, and thus had and the best, had the best chance, chance of learning about his dealings with Jacques. With Jacques. But, but as Spina di Rosula's, Rosula's advisor, advisor, his work his mostly work deals mostly with deals personnel, personnel and security, and security. So, he so he shouldn't have much have means much when it comes to finances. So you're saying so you're he's too broke to afford a mecha army? Exactly. He can't. And even if he could, I don't think he would be able to dispatch a whole group so quickly. Who could it be? I think. Irrelevant, irrelevant, irrelevant. You know, if you think everything through... Uncle Marcel, Uncle Marcel is indeed, is indeed the, most the most suspicious of them all. Do we mean any other suspects? Malus didn't Malus know didn't about know the people turning into water things when the air went down the street, did he? Did he? Did he? Malus, Malus has always, has been, always been very reliable, reliable. And, his and his judgment of others' trustworthiness, of others trustworthiness has, been has been fair and well considered. And well considered. When he laid when he out his laid case out for the case three, for the, three the, rationale the rationale he gave me made a lot of sense as well. As well. The, suspect the suspect is knowledgeable, knowledgeable about the Spina's internal, internal affairs, has the means, has the means to dispatch Mecca to assassinate, to assassinate us, us, and possesses, and possesses significant, significant intellect and foresight. And foresight. <sighs> Even if I don't Even want, I to, don't believe want it, to believe it, I'm starting to see how things could all tie back to Uncle Marcel. He is someone who's very close to you after all. The same production yes, base. Yes. Malus did Malus say that did charging that straight in there would be there extremely, would be extremely risky. risky. But we don't but have we don't any have other any options, other right, options now. right now. We need far we need more far solid, solid proof, proof before, before we can hope to go charging in on our enemy. Navia, here you are. Here you are. Oh, I've been looking, I've been for, looking you. for you. Huh? huh? Aren't you the guy from the guards? Did something happen? Yeah. yeah. News came News from Araneas just, just after you left. We've got another got trial another on trial. our hands. Wasn't that place Wasn't built, that place specifically, built specifically, for specifically for holding trials? trials? What's so newsworthy, What's so newsworthy about, about, this about this one? I know, I know. But they said but the they person said the they're putting on trial is a Fatui harbinger called Tartaglia. Wait, child? <laughs> what? Is that is someone that you know? Someone you know? Yeah. yeah, we know him. We know him. Maybe even Maybe a little too well. Well... He's been accused of being the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case. It's absurd, don't you think? Wait, how? None of our investigations have had anything to do with him. That's what I thought was strange about it, so I came to tell you the news right away. If the charge against him stands, then it'll be next to impossible to get the guards to support any of our planned investigations. Right, Right. because they'll think they've already found the culprit. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll be a lot be harder a lot than harder to clear Mr. Callis' name. name. Hmm. Hmm. I understand. I understand. 
Well, partner. Well, partner. Well, what do you think, we, do you should think do? we should do? We I knew it was any conclusive evidence. evidence. I knew it was kind of a vitui. Um, Let's split up. Huh? Split up. Split up. What do you mean? What do you mean? You can go over to Ernie's while I'll go and investigate that place. <laughs> Just as expected of my partner. Since this is a trial about the serial disappearances case, the culprit's attention will be focused on Ernie's, leaving his home base wide open. You're right. This is our best opportunity. <laughs> All right, then. Let's do this. I'll sell them at the Opera House and charge Marcel as the true culprit. I won't have, I won't any, have chance any chance of making that, making charge, that stick, charge stick, though, stick though, unless we unless find, we more, find evidence. more evidence. It'll be up It'll to be you up to you make it back in time and hand the decisive evidence, evidence to me. We'll help we'll you, help just you. like you helped us in the last trial. Demoiselle, please allow us to accompany you. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ah, hello, Silver. When did you two get here? We heard that you'll be leaving Poisson. We figured that you might require our assistance. It's our hope, it's our hope that, that your confidence will be bolstered with, with the two of us by your side. <laughs> Thank you so, Thank you much. so much. Then, then let's make let's haste make for Ernie. Paimon, Paimon, Traveler, Traveler. We'll see you at the, see opera, you at the house. opera House. See you there! See you there! Suspect our analysis. Oh, this is the finale part of Act 2. Well, they don't want to stand <sighs> out. Right. And important place like, place like this is bound to have a ton of protective, protective measures and mechanisms. mechanisms. Navia's Navia probably arguing up a scheme right, right now to right stop for us. <sighs> Meanwhile, inside the opera Epicles. It would appear that I must repeat my question again, Mr. Tartaglia. Do you accept the charge that you are the true culprit To be perfectly honest, oh my gosh, guys! Witcher X Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. However, collab. In court. To participate in a duel to clear their name. Is that right? In which case, as long as I accept the charge, I can have an all-out fight with that champion duelist, Clorent, right? I've got to admit, that's one of the most enticing offers I've ever received. When I privately sparred with her last time, she was obviously holding back. Real disappointing. Hey! Don't you understand? You're currently, You're currently the prime suspect for, for a major case. case. This Brat. is a place for you to be looking for fights. Oh? oh. Sounds like Sounds the Hydro like the Archon, Archon wants to lecture, to lecture me on the ways of the, the, of the Opera House. house. Then why don't then why you don't do you me do too? too? I'm the kind I'm of the student kind that learns best in the heat of battle. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> That's not what I meant. 
Alas, it would appear that communication with the defendant is going poorly. And we have made very little progress. In that case, let me explain everything from the very beginning again. The goal of this trial is to determine the culprit behind the serial disappearances case. That case had nothing to do with him! You've got the wrong man! What's going on? Why is she interjecting again? I told you it couldn't be one of the Fatui Harbingers. Miss Navia, this is the second time you've interrupted the court proceedings. I only tolerated your behavior last time because you were able to provide the court with a key eyewitness. But that was an exception rather than standard court protocol. I can very well charge you with contempt of court for your interjections. Oh, please. Did you ever think I had any respect for this place's pointless theatrics? We can put the discussion aside. For now. For now. I'm not here I'm to not argue, here with, to you. argue with you. I'm here to I'm charge, here to the, charge true the true culprit behind the serial disappearances, disappearances case. case. And if and my if charges my prove true, true, then Tartaglia here Tartaglia will be proven will be innocent, proven by, innocent default. by default. Correct? 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 Oh. oh. A young lady a young has lady charged him and offered to clear my name. How fascinating. Well, I've gotten half bored to death by all these rules and procedures anyway. So is there nothing else for me to do now? You may take a seat for now in the audience, but that doesn't mean the suspicions against you have been lifted. Now then, Miss Nadia, who is the person who would like to charge instead? That person is... is... Marcel. The head of Calvary, a cabriere. What conquery? Never heard of them in my life. I've heard of them, but weren't they Spina di Rosula's sister organization? Oh, is this going to be a friends to enemies type situation? Please let me remind you, Miss Nadia, that charging someone is an incredibly serious matter. Commitment if the charge fails, depending on the circumstances, you may also be charged with the crime of making a false accusation. Knowing this, do you still wish to charge this man? Yes. In that case, I declare the charge to be valid. Miss Navia and attorneys, please take your places on the court. Members of the guards, please contact Mr. Marcel right away so that he may stand trial. After some time and confused, Marcel was brought to the stairs. Mr. Marcel, you will not require an attorney. Is that correct? Ah, apologies. It all just happened so quickly. I still haven't figured out what's going on. I think an attorney won't be necessary. This is probably just a misunderstanding between me and Navia. Very well. In that case, since both sides have now arrived, Miss Navia, please present your charges. I would like to take everyone back to three years ago, to the case of Callus the Unfaithful. Only through elucidating what really happened in that case can we connect all the dots for the serial disappearances case. Navia, do you really think that I was the one who killed your father? Come on, why would I do that? Callus was my benefactor, and remember both you and I only ran to the scene when we heard the sound of a gun. If that's enough to make me a suspect, wouldn't that make everyone at that banquet a suspect as well? I think there's no point in getting into the specifics right now. The audience doesn't even have the big picture yet. Even I am struggling to remember some details about the case. Exactly correct, Your Honor. I must refresh everyone's memory about that case before I can explain my charge and reason. I see. In which case, I will recount the findings about that case as originally recorded by Maison Guardianage. On the day of the murder, Spina di Rosulo hosted a large banquet in a countryside estate owned by the Conferee of Cabriere. During the banquet, all attending guests heard two gunshots from the courtyard. When the guests arrived at the scene, they found the primary suspect, Callus, holding a gun, while his acquaintance, Jacques, lay dead from a gunshot gun. The guards' investigation did not recover any other firearms from the scene. As a result, they concluded that the suspect's first shot must have missed, while the second must have taken Jacques' life. The suspect did not dispute this conclusion, and also declined to defend himself in court. Instead, he chose to prove his innocence through a duel. Callus was defeated by champion duelist Clarand in the ensuing duel, and soon succumbed to the injuries. 
These are the known facts about the kiss. Now I just have to do what we what happened with Lenny's case. Thank you for the summary, Your Honor. However, we should revisit the case now that we've gained new information about the abilities of water from the primordial sea. Unfortunately for Jacques, the true culprit had already considered this possibility and had sent out another assassin. Successful refutation. Ah, so that's what happened. Wait, you're telling me something as dangerous as water from the primordial sea has been used for all these years? What a great theory. It also explains Callus's and Jacques' respective motives. I guess they didn't shoot each other after all. Mr. Marcel, you are the one being charged with the crime. You should provide a rebuttal if you wish to prove your innocence. Ah, but I think I agree with everything Navi just said. In fact, there was nothing in her speech that directly implicated me. Uh, then, then, may I ask some questions? In my opinion, we primarily need to determine two things. One, do you have the evidence to back up your claims? I'm afraid not. At least not at this very moment. If you don't have any evidence, you should just go home. I may not have the evidence with me, but I know where I can go to collect it. If we look up the deserted clothes against a record of people who went missing around the same time, we should be able to find a match. Considering the serial disappearance of case, the guards probably kept careful records of all missing persons from around that time, regardless of age or gender. That makes sense to me. Monsieur Nivellet, I would consider this to be a reasonable investigative direction. Why do I feel like Farina's acting a little differently today? Maybe she's scared of embarrassing herself again? Alternatively, she's become more diligent after charging an innocent citizen in the last trial. My second question has to do with the ensuing duel. If the truth is indeed as you describe... Then why didn't Mr. Callis explain himself in court? If he had he time, thought about this too. And, and the answer is actually, is actually pretty, pretty simple. simple. He felt he there were things that were more important, important to him. 
The dissolving power of water from the Primordial Sea is an important secret for the true culprit of the serial disappearances case. My father could have exposed it for all to see, but he chose to take it to the grave. At that time, Spina de Rosina was in dire straits, and his reputation had already been shattered. He had no guarantee that going forward with the truth would allow the culprit to be brought to justice. What was certain, however, was that it would paint a gigantic target on my back. Boss once told me that the Wazelle has already been selected as the next target of the serial disappearances case. What? what? If the secret had gotten out, the culprit would have fought an all-out war with the Spina right there and then. I wouldn't have been the only one in danger. All of us would have stood to lose our lives. Of course, the guards might eventually figure out the truth of the matter and determine that we were in the right. But what but good what would, that, would do? that do? How can a How hollow can a verdict hollow protect, protect anyone? anyone? Had this Had opera this house opera ever house given my given father my any father kind of confidence in its brand of justice, justice Spina di Rosula would have had no have reason, no to, reason exist. to exist. But by staying, but by staying silent, silent, we retained we the ability to deter our opponents and continue the stalemate. I was able to become Spina di Rosula's president, which made me harder to target, as well as giving me more time to grow and learn. And once I have figured out the truth and stepped up to the challenge, I will do what this opera house cannot and restore my father's truth and honor back to him. So, you mean to say, your father intended to die in the duelist's ring? That's right. That's right. Do you have any proof? Of course. Of course. All you need. Need, need is to is ask to his ask opponent, Clarence. Oh, I don't need, I your, don't apology, need your apology, your guilt, your guilt or, your or your support from the shadows. From the shadows. You, don't you don't have to do anything, do anything for, my sake. for my sake. But since but he entrusted, since he entrusted his, will his will to you, Clarence, you, you should tell us the truth about his sacrifice. Um, so, during the duel, did you believe that Callus was intending to die? Yes. yes, I did. I did. As a champion, As a champion duelist, duelist, I fought many I fought battles many and taken a I've countless taken a number of dishonored of lives in my line of work. Line of work. I've seen I've all seen kinds of people give their eyes for the faintest hope. Her, her eyes are different. Some were determined. It looks like, she, it looks like she's not solicited anymore. And twisted. And twisted. Just one Just look one and I can tell if a duelist is hoping to live or if they're looking to die. I hereby, I hereby swear, swear on my name and honor, and honor as a champion, champion duelist that Mr. That Callus never, never intended to leave the ring, the ring alive. <sighs> Since, Since that's, that's your, testimony, your testimony, I have no more questions. questions. It appears, it appears there, really there really are, are good, good grounds to reopen this case. case. I concur. I concur. However, Miss Navia, Navia, you still have not explained the link between your father's case and the serial disappearances case. Right? What she said was fascinating, but kind of beside the point. Wait, Wait, weren't they just weren't talking, they just about, talking the about the serial disappearances, disappearances case? case? Of course, Your, of course, Your Honor. Honor. The two cases, two cases are connected are via a matter of timing. Of timing. <laughs> In my father's, In my father's case, case, the culprit, the culprit intended, intended to kill to both Jacques and Callus. As, as, as a result, they planned they to act planned after, after hearing after two hearing gunshots. Two gunshots. And, and at the end of Lenny's trial, trial, the culprit, the culprit also, also only dissolved the victim in front of everyone because they realized they were at risk of being identified. The culprit could only time their actions so precisely if they were already at the scene. Coincidentally, Coincidentally Marcel, Marcel attended, attended both, the, both banquet the banquet and the, and trial. the trial. So that's so why that's you suspected why me. me. Ah, even after hearing your reasoning, I still can't help but find it a little preposterous. I'm used to it, though. You've always been an impulsive and sentimental child, Nadia. It's one of your most endearing traits. No need to appeal to pathos. I won't try to refute your points one by one, but even if everything you just said was true, can you prove that I was the only person present at both events? On top of that, does a person have to be physically present to control the timing? Can't someone remotely monitor the place? I know that even with that, you might still think you can reduce the list of suspects with some further investigations until I am the only one left on the list. Alas, who won't feel at least a little hurt by an accusation of murder from a girl you see as your own daughter? But if I were to dismiss this completely, you'd also think I'm not being considerate of your feelings. Ah well, 
Let Uncle Marcel Uncle teach Marcel you another teach lesson. You know Do you know what the biggest flaw in your reasoning is? I suppose you're gonna tell me anyways. It's timing again. I'm a businessman by trade. From that standpoint, there's no reason for me to kidnap young women. It's a high-risk action with nothing to gain. In addition, I left my home in Snezhnaya when I was young to come to Poisson and work in some trade. My business only thrived when I received Callus's patronage. But the disappearances began before I ever stepped foot in Fontaine. I do apologize, Demoiselle. This was my mistake. No, no. It's not your fault. I'm sure he had come prepared. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Would you like to check the date of my first business license against the first known case of the serial disappearances? You can also take a look at my border entry records, or ask my friends and family when I left Snezhnaya for the first time. Could those records and testimonies do something to appease the unspeakable in your heart? Like she got the wrong guy. Got the wrong guy. At this rate, Nagi will be convicted for falsely accusing him. I think you've done a superb job of dissecting your father's feelings as he neared the end of his life. But aren't you going against all of his wishes and expectations right now? He wished for you to become more rational, collected, and conscientious instead of dwelling only on your own feelings. Once you were to be more considerate of others' feelings and to stop rushing headlong into things, you'd have met most of his expectations. This isn't, this just, isn't about just about me, and it never, and it has, never been. has been. The biggest, the biggest difference between, between me and, and the rest of the rest victims of the is that I still have the ability to search for the truth. When am I going to show up? has long been, been taken from, from them. them. The people whose the families were destroyed, destroyed by sin abuse, abuse. The people who the lost their loved ones to the serial disappearances. And the people who suffered tragic ends due to their sense of justice. Many people's images are flashing before my eyes. I'm sure some I'm sure are some coming are to those coming of you in the audience, the audience as, well. as well. And whose, and whose image, image do you see, do you see? Marcel? Marcel? Is it a man is named, named Vache? Huh. Oh. 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 So you do so know, you that, do name. know that name. I've, I've merely surprised. Merely surprised. You'd, suddenly You'd suddenly say the name of someone name I've someone never even heard of. I was I waiting was for you to say that. Vache, Vache, Vache. Sure out for this. Rain outlines your life. Things up. Come so. I love this there, May.
If I'm not mistaken. Probably belong huh? to the same weapon. The Shay. The 
the goal so for researchers. Wait, wait, did he really, did he really, did he really be able, able to find a way to find a way to solve it over and over? And over, and over? And over? There's another name here. The Shay. Is it that the name you heard by the fountain? Paimon thought that he was an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. He is the researcher. You mean the Shay was the one who did all the beauty? Experiment? Yes, he's kind of a bunch of... So that's it. The Shay was no victim. But personally, Tom is lover and new. There must be more of them reach the eye. Paimon will write it all down. Oh, look! There's an important basin over here. And it's full of water. This must be the water from the primordial sea. Well, in advance. Tell us it. So many. Mm. Mixing, in, Mixing progress, in progress, ready to drink, ready to drink. stack sample? Huh. huh. They've also got They've all the same print, print clearing, clearing labels. Label. Whoa. Whoa, there's even fruit flavor too? Well, I read reducing. Super awesome. Super awesome. Mm. 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 We've learned mm. it almost mm. everything, everything here, here, and here, and it here. seems like it's our players were spot on. Who is this yeah, really yeah, Rache? Yeah, 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 yeah. In your eyes? No wonder even Nevelet wasn't able to find their thing. Whoever it is probably destroyed everything to do with that thing a long time ago. That way, even if we bring all this back to the opera, we won't be able to identify the true culprit. Clever. Paimon won't admit that he missed this guy either. Okay, we'll end it there. We'll all continue it. We will continue it later. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.